Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Salesforce Certified Platform Developer 1. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. The question is, what is the Aura framework in Salesforce? Your answer should be, the Aura framework is a user interface framework for developing dynamic web applications for mobile and desktop devices. It supports the development of reusable component and is used to build lightning component in Salesforce. Aura provides an event-driven architecture and a rich set of UI component. Our next question is, what is the difference between with sharing and without sharing keywords in Apex? Your answer should be, with sharing enforces the sharing rules that apply to the current user. This keyword ensures that the Apex code respects the organization sharing settings and user permission. Without sharing bypasses the sharing rules and executes the code with full access to all records in the system, regardless of the user's permissions. Please have a look at the given segment. Our next question is, explain the concept of asynchronous apex. Your answer should be, Asynchronous Apex refers to executing operations asynchronously outside the context of the current transaction. It is helpful for long-running operations and improving performance by offloading tasks. Types of asynchronous Apex include future methods for call-outs and operations in the background. Batch Apex for processing large data sets and manageable chunks. Queuable Apex for chaining jobs and handling more complex jobs than future methods. Scheduled Apex for scheduling Apex classes to run at specific time. What is the Dynamics Apex? Your answer should be Dynamic Apex enables developers to create flexible and dynamic applications by allowing them to create, to retrieve metadata information and manipulate objects, fields and records at runtime. Key features include accessing S object and field describe information. Dynamically building and executing SOQL queries using dynamic DML operation. Please have a look at the given segment. Our next question is, what is trigger.new and trigger.old in Salesforce? Your answer should be trigger.new. A list of new records that are attempting to be inserted or updated. Available in before and after insert and update triggers. Trigger.old The list of old versions of the records that are being updated or deleted. Available in update and delete triggers. If you find this content helpful, Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Our next question is, explain the use of Apex email services. Your answer should be, Apex email services allows developers to create email handlers that process inbound email messages. Email services are used to automate the processing of email such as creating records based on email content or executing logic based on received email. Please have a look at the given segment. Our next question is, 
what are standard objects and custom objects in sales board your answer should be standard object predefined object provided by sales force such as account contact opportunity and lead custom object objects created by users to store data specific to their business needs custom objects are defined by the user and can have custom fields relationships and custom and other customizations if you are preparing for any salesforce based certification you can download the complete list of valid tried tested current and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description wishing you all the very best thank you